Hi guys, welcome to NGC Online. Today we are going to discuss about verbs. Words that indicate actions are called verbs. Verbs when preceded by to, that is to plus verb. They are said to be in their infinitive or base form. Verbs will change its form according to tense, number, person and voice. And tense is indicated in the first verb of the sentence. The number and person of the noun will change the verb in present tense. The two voices, that is the active and passive voice, affect verb in a sentence. In passive voice, the verb has a passive auxiliary and an ed added to the main verb. The verb in a sentence may be called as regular, irregular, transitive or intransitive. As I told earlier, verbs are words that indicate actions. The actions may be physical, mental or one that express a state of being. Let's have a look on the type of actions. First one is words that indicate a physical action. For example, drink, run, write, etc. Second one is words that indicate action in mind. For example, dream, think, remember, etc. Third one is words that express a state of being. For example, is, was, were, has, have, etc. I have mentioned earlier that tense is indicated on the first verb in a sentence. For example, the old woman walked away with the first prize in the quiz competition. Here walked is the verb. She will be singing again tomorrow. Here will be singing is the verb in this sentence. The number and person of the noun will change the verb in the present tense. For example, the girls go out for jogging every day. The girl goes out for jogging every day. Here the verb is changed according to the noun. The two voices that is the active and passive voices affect verb in a sentence. In passive voice, the verb has a passive auxiliary and an ed added to the main verb. For example, the little girl opened the door. This sentence is in active voice form. If we change the voice of the sentence to passive voice, it will become the door was opened by the little girl. That is, the verb opened in the active voice form is changed to was opened in the passive voice. Let's have a look on what is regular and irregular verbs. Verbs are classified as regular and irregular based on the distinction between their simple past and past participle forms. For regular verbs, the simple past and past participle forms of the verb are usually the same. They are usually formed by adding D or ED to the root verb form. For example, judge is the base form. The simple past form of judge is judged and the past participle form is also judged. Irregular verbs have dissimilar simple past and past participle forms. And in some irregular verbs, the simple past and past participle forms are same as the base forms. For example, arise is the base form. Its simple past form is eros. And the past participle form is arisen. Now we are going to discuss about transitive and intransitive verbs. A sentence is usually in the form of subject plus verb plus object. The person or thing doing the action is the subject. The person or thing affected by the action is called object. A direct object can be identified by asking what or who to the verb. A transitive verb connects the subject and the object of a sentence. For example, Reba opened a bottle of milk. Here, a bottle of milk is a direct object to the verb opened. So, the verb is said to be transitive. 
we denote at preposition between a transitive verb and its object. For example, he wrote for a letter to me. It is an incorrect usage. The correct usage is he wrote a letter to me. What are intransitive verbs? An intransitive verb is a verb that does not have a direct object. For example, I am writing. Since there is no direct object here, the verb writing is intransitive. 